Hello. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're going to do some watercoloring tonight. And I have picked mostly alt new products <laughs> to work with today. So If you're here, say hello. I gotta grab that chat box. It is good to have you here. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, while I wait for people to hop on, I'm gonna put away some products here. Um, like I, well, in the description, we are using the Wispy Feathers Dye set from Alt New, and I've used watercolor paper. I've got one of my feathers already completed. The other one, I'm gonna show you uh, what I did to get the, the look that I did, whoops. And uh, yes, so then, so that's one of the products is this Wispy Feathers. Let's stick these back here, because I'm done. Nah. Yeah, I don't, I'm knowing me, I'll probably run it over. <laughs> so I better, I better pick it up. <laughs> and we're, I'm going to try a background with the watercolor stripes stencil. We'll see how that goes. I picked out a couple of colors. I don't know. It might just strike me as I'm going. And then here we have the dovetail butterflies, and I've only used the half butterfly for our project tonight. I stamped it on watercolor paper. I stamped it with the VersaFine Claire because VersaFine Claire is um, perfect for watercoloring projects. So there's that. These are beautiful, beautiful stamps. And just to let you know, they do have a, um, I don't know what kind of look that you would use to describe it, a kind of almost an impressionistic look. Uh, with some dots in it. So they're not crisp. Just a warning for those who are looking for crisp because I stamped mine probably too many times looking for that crisp look and then I realized, oh, those are kind of impressionistic. So, and then of course I use vellum for the backsides of my uh, feathers. Hi, Lindy, good evening to you too. So this is Spellbinders Vellum. And then I have used the Strathmore watercolor paper. I've used it for my um, for my feathers and for my butterfly. And for, I'm going to be using it for my background too because I might be flicking water and who knows what I'll end up doing. And I've chosen a sentiment that says just a note to lift you up. I thought that would be really um, a sweet sentiment to um, for feathers and a butterfly since they all... They all fly. <laughs> well, feathers come from birds that fly. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to talk first, just really briefly about these water, they're woodless watercolor pencils. And I made myself a little, um, I guess you'd call it, my, it's my, my cheat sheet. And it's a little swatch that I created for each of the colors that are in this set. And look at those dreamy, beautiful colors that come with these watercolor pencils. And you can use watercolor pencils in a number of ways. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways to use them tonight. Um, I'm going to do, of course, this other feather. And I'm going to also watercolor our butterfly as well. So uh, just, a, just a little tip so that you kind of know exactly what colors you're looking for and what color it's going to turn out to be once you hit it with that water. This is a... I did it on watercolor paper. So there's that. And the colors that I'm using from this set, here they are, uh, are Desert Night um, and Coral Bliss and Mountain Mist. Now I'm just going to tell you that if you want some really good uh, quality watercolor pencils, you're going to pay for them. And I can tell you, I can already tell the difference with these. They're nice. They're nice watercolor pencils. I know, isn't it pretty? 
The feathers are just absolutely gorgeous. You could just cut these out with your favorite colors of um, cardstock and you would be happy. I promise you that. Um, they, the feathers are really, really pretty. And I almost wish that I had taken the, um, oh, it's escaping me. The, uh, there's a word for it, but this middle piece right here, if you, I wish I'd kind of saved it and put it back in and pieced it back in there, but anyway. So, uh, it's really pretty. I've kind of done a multitude of, you can't really see the coral bliss in there very well, but um, I kind of came up with a little way to get that coral bliss in there, and I'll show you what I did. So let's just start out with that, shall we? I'm going to take all of this and put it aside. So I am going to actually get my feather wet. That's how I'm going to achieve this. And then I'm going to... Um, this up. Makes it easier to dry. It's not completely saturated, but so I'm I'm the first color I'm going to go in here with is this um this coral color and I'm just going to kind of go willy-nilly here and there and I might actually end up um spraying it again at some point in time, but um just to kind of loosen it up a bit, so to speak. And because I probably will have to go back in with that coral once again. So, um, you could most certainly color this. I just say before you sprayed it, uh, I will tell you, you would probably get a whole different look um, if you did that. And I'm probably most definitely going to spray it again. And I'm not going to go so heavy with this blue because I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's pretty strong and saturated, this blue is. Just a word of warning. So you can take your finger and kind of pat down a little. Kind of smush it in there and then you can spray it again to kind of get it to move so oops I'm kind of wanting my colors to move a little more so pick that up wipe this down I'm gonna come back in here with some more color Feather quill. That's it. The quill. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to just come back in just in places with my watercolor pencil. Some more. I need to hit the Coral a little bit more. I wanted a little more coral in this one than I got in the last one. So now we're going to go with this darker color. I'm going to mush it in to kind of just blend it and I think you get the gist of what I'm doing here and if you want it darker you can really just go in in places and make it darker where you want it darker It looks like that coral is just really going to compete, doesn't it? like I 
need a little more of this color in there, here and there. So you can just bring that in. Maybe a little more blue here. Blend that. You could use a brush, by all means you could. I'm just being messy and using my fingers. I'm not crazy about that little spot right there. Let's see. Let's see what we have. I still feel like I want more coral in it. I know. It's an unusual way to um, watercolor, isn't it? <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we need to try out new ways of doing things. But I I just, I really like this. I like the way it turned out. I, I have a little more control. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to set this aside. If it doesn't dry the way I want it to dry, I am going to, uh, I'll just take my heat tool to it. So, there we have it. I'm gonna set these back inside of here. Well, no, I'm not, because I'm gonna color my butterfly, right? Almost forgot you. So, I kinda want, I wanted to come in here and just color directly before I got any water on it. And I'm just, here and there, gonna, Give it some color, maybe in certain areas. Give it color. Um, we'll see how this goes. Maybe this is where I can really pick up that coral. And then I'll take my brush and go in there. So I feel like this is where I'm gonna get my coral. Just trying to do the, the colors that are in the feathers, pick up the same colors. This is not a nice way to get your colors to to line up. And I'm going to go with this on its belly. Okay. Where is that? So I have, hi, Kim. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yay. I'm happy that you're here. Yay. Okay. Whoops. I'm getting my so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically blend. Just do some blending with the color so that it doesn't have that stark. So there we have it. I'm going to go with blue first and then I kind of wipe it off. And so I'll wipe this off. And then I'm going to come in with this green color and blend it a little. Maybe put some in here. And then now we can do, and I just squeeze because there's water in the barrel. And then until my brush gets clean. But now, ooh, there's a chip of, um, so now I'm gonna go in here and I do need to be careful. I don't wanna get my bristles. So, 
so I'm just going in there and I might come back in with the coral bliss um, while it's wet to kind of make it a little more saturated if that makes any sense so it's it's I've got it's wet so I can saturate it a little bit more this is more of a muted color Good, I'm glad to hear that. Yay. I'm glad you're doing good. I feel like my brush isn't very wet. That's what I kind of... There we go. That's what I needed. It's exactly what I needed. It is a very muted coral color. That's it. See, it just goes on like butter when it's wet. Just really smooth. That's pretty. I do like that. Okay, so I'm going to blend this a little bit more. Bring it so it's not such a stark... Right. I think that's done. I think I'm happy with that. Oops, I still have green on there. <laughs> okay. So I think that'll be a nice. Um, so there's my little butterfly. Woohoo. Okay. So this. These two feathers will hopefully be pulled together. I'm hoping it'll pull it all together. And I'm thinking of a black stripe background. I was going to do gray, but I think I want some black to kind of tie it all together. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And I might, folks, I just might spray. I don't know. feel like I need a little bit maybe I need just a little bit more of this color maybe that's the problem here we're working with um, watercolor pencils from alt new these are woodless I think I'm just gonna let it be I'm just gonna let it be what it is so I'm gonna finish drying this out Um, here we go. Yeah, that's plastic. <laughs> it's like there's a big old rock. They look a little different from each other. It's because I kind of tried one technique on this and I didn't like it and I came back with a different technique, but I still think they look enough alike color-wise that I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I really like the look of this one a lot, and I like the look of this one. They both just have different looks. Okay. Yay. So, so what I want to do um, is I want to glue, get some glue on the back of these and glue them down to the base of this, this which is the vellum. So that's my next step. And then we'll get to working on um, this stencil for our background. So I think I am going to do black. Originally, I thought, eh, I might just do gray, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with black because 
I want it to pick up what's in the butterfly. I think I cut too much glue there. So I know I definitely want to go around the edges of this all the way, way around, maybe some in the middle. I think I've got it. These feathers are beautiful. Um, there's just so many ways that you could do this. You could do, um, You could do, actually do some pattern paper with these as well. They would turn out really pretty with some pattern paper. Um, there's just a bunch of different ways that, um, yeah. This one's gonna be trickier. So I feel like what I'm gonna do is just kinda go just a little along the edges and then I'm gonna get the quill which is the feather quill, the center. That spine. I feel like I always hop on here and talk about the weather, but man, oh man, I don't know about where you are. Kim, ugh, it is hot here. We have had 90s all, all week here, and it has been humid. Um, my air conditioner is working overtime. Big, big time overtime. <laughs> so, which puts me in a very bad predicament down here because now it's chilly down here and it's hot upstairs. I hate that dilemma, <laughs> but we're blessed to have air conditioning, so I'm not going to complain, right? I didn't grow up with air conditioning. We had, a, uh, when I was growing up, we had an attic fan most of the time I was growing up. It wasn't until later that we got, we had a window unit and um, an attic fan to keep us cool. So that was not something I grew up with. And I'll tell you what, those attic fans, they work. They're nice. Okay. Let's... Let's see how we do this. You know, here's what I say. I say, if we don't like it, we can always do another one. Righto? <laughs> Righto. So I am going to take, oh, I didn't grab my black soot brush. Uh, phooey. Um, grab a good one. I use enough of these in classes, but if I had a third one, it's not going to, or second one, it's not going to work. So I'm going to grab one. Okay. I've got one sitting here. Let's do it. Move these out of the way. So let's put some black soot on here. So what you're gonna have to do, probably more than likely, is go in one direction, otherwise it's gonna come off of there. Because these stripes, that's just kinda how they are. And uh, we wanna go this way. So if I am going to put some splotches on this, which I think I am, I was thinking, Donna, <laughs> I need to tape it down. <laughs> That's what I really need to do, but I'm... I'm, I'm one of those people that likes to cut, the, cut to the chase. And I don't, I don't always take the time to do things the way they should be done properly because I want to hurry up and get done. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Rut row, see, you can tell I have that spot up there. How are we going to fix that? I don't know, but we're going to have to, right? Maybe... Yeah, 
let's go back. Thinking. Think of think of it. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna have to trim it down. Because I took it over to see I see what I did here. I took it over to the edge, which made it instead of putting it like centered, I could still do it. Let's see how we let's see how this works. Let's go this way. Let's see what we come up with. Yeah, we can do some stripes here, can't we? Can't we? <laughs> Tell me I can. <laughs> Tell me I can fix it. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know that I can. I can try. I sure certainly can. We can give it a whirl, can't we? If not, we can trim it. See, I still got. In the process of discovering that I needed to remedy something. See, I get it. I got it all over here. Guys, I may have to turn this over. I'm going to turn it over. <laughs> all right. It, back to the starting gate, which says that gravy. Oh, my gravy. Let's clean it. We're almost two hours away from the Outer Banks of North. Oh, so does it get really humid there, Kim? Does it get really bad? I know in Florida, it can get really humid. I'm just, you know what, guys? I, let's see, North Carolina. I have been to North Carolina. I've been to Asheville. Um, we went to go see... Um, Ooh, I hit a wall today, guys. I, I'm tired. Um, uh, Biltmore. We went on a family vacation to Biltmore. And I think that's as far as we've ever been, I've ever been, in North Carolina. Okay, so I'm going to, I am going to take this down. Because it's probably the best thing to do. Um, I've got these pieces over here. So let's tape this down. So let me um, <clears throat> set an example for how, the right way to do this <laughs> instead of the wrong way to do this. <laughs> All right, see, this is what happens, folks, when you don't take the time to do things properly. <laughs> you end up spending more time fixing what you wouldn't have had to fix if you had just done it the right way. But guess what? Those of you who are like me, you're going to go, oh, I'm not the only one. But those of you who are not like me, are, you're just going to sit there and roll your eyes. I know. I know. One way or another, we're going to get a, a cover to the front of this card. And it may just not. Yeah, I bet. Okay, yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does get humid. I figured it would since you're, um, if you're that close to water, usually that's, um, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard the story about how Lindy and I know each other. 
but we were roommates in college. And Lindy's the one that got me started crafting, um, making cards. She's my inspiration. So if you read about the about me part on my, um, if you go to the store and you read the about me part, that about me, the person that gave me that card was her. So she's, she's a very, um, a very inspirational person. Okay, so I just, honestly folks, I don't know. I don't know about this card. I really don't know about this card. I'm just thinking, sometimes it just, it's not, it's not gonna jive. Although I did get to show you how to do some watercoloring. I think I might rather have some yellow feathers for this and a yellow butterfly if I'm going to do this background. And I I just might do that really quick instead. So, um, if y'all got the patience, I'm going to switch it up. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's first see if our dies fit on this little plate here. Because I really like that background. And I just think some yellow. Don't you guys think some yellow feathers would be really pretty with that gray? Um, grayish black. Oh, okay. That, oh, yeah. That's how we met. So that's where Lindy is. I'm just going to do that really quick. Okay. Or... You know what? We could do it even faster, couldn't we? Let's do it. Let's just do it on the machine back here. So I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run one pass through the machine. And I feel like this needs a different kind of background. That's what I feel. I don't, I don't really care for that background with it. And I really like this background. Or I could do a different color background. I mean... Maybe I could. Maybe I could do maybe I could do a pink stripe for that background. Okay, you guys want to vote? I think I'll I might end up doing a, a yellow one, but I might maybe I'll do um Yeah. Let's do it. And I'm not going to use I'm just going to do a regular piece of cardstock. And I'm going to cut one down. And we'll just do a different background. How's that? And maybe we'll use a different... I'll do a pink. What do you think? Should I do that coral? I should do that coral color. Four and a quarter. That's not what I want. I want five and a half. There's my five and a half line. Four and a quarter. That's what I want. I think that, I think if we did, let's see. What if we did some abandoned coral? Ooh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? Let's put some abandoned coral on here. Pick up that pink. Yes. I vote yes. <laughs> I don't like that color on the back of this for some reason. I just am not feeling that for a background. All right. You know, some days you go in the craft room, you know exactly what you want. Other days, you go in and you don't. So, let's get this straight. Let's tape this down. I do like how it catches the edge though. So let's 
do that again. All right. Let's do some abandoned coral here. Here we go. Now, don't do this in a circular motion or you're going to get, um, you're going to end up getting underneath there. And if you get splotches, then actually it's, to me, it's okay because that means it's more, more like paint strokes, like a rustic paint stroke. And I think I am going to like this color. I think I am. this way. It's easier for some reason. This is not the background to use if you're wanting clean and simple. Just an FYI. really cool. All right. I don't know what happened to my rags. They never made it back into my craft room. <laughs> That's what happened. All right. And I say yes. Yes, yes. Absolutely yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's better. That was a better solution than trying to do everything all over again. Right? Okay. Yep, yep. Yay, oh, yes, thank you. Yes, I I do like it a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Now I'm trying to decide if I want any black splotches on that. I'm a little afraid to put any splotches on it at this point. <laughs> um, maybe some black splotches would be cute. You guys, uh, this makes me nervous. I'm going to, I'm going to go really conservative. I'm getting the big box out here. I'm going to go conservative and let's get the oxide shook up here. I'm using the distress oxide spray, but I'm not spraying. I'm just taking it out and kind of flicking it. I may actually just stick a paintbrush in there and flick it and see what we get with that. Kind of a gentle, um, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do. Or I just might use this, flick it with this. If I feel like a paintbrush, you can get a whole lot more control. I do like that. Oh, did I just get everywhere? Sometimes it's hard to kind of command it to get it That's good. That's enough. 
I don't want to go too crazy on it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to dry that a little. A big splotch there. It doesn't want to dry. There we go. Now I think we're dry. Yay. Okay. Whew. It was a scary moment, but we survived it. <laughs> and we still need to dry a little. Still wet. So I do like that. I do like that a lot. Yes. Now trying to decide. that and I like that I think I'm, uh, yeah I like that I can set that butterfly let's figure out where our sentiments gonna go how's that so I had a piece of cardstock there it is. There's the card stock. <laughs> Stick that in the misty and it's kind of a springier look. Kind of, I do like the abandoned coral a lot. Yay. So now I am, let's get this. Oops, I got the dice. We need the stamps. I thought this would be a really neat sentiment. Just a note to lift you up. And I'm going to go just like so. Because I'm just going to trim that puppy off. you guys for being so patient oh hi Lisa thank you welcome thanks for joining us not very stable there okay and I think I'm gonna do it again that was the first time I used that sentiment I think I think I do believe it is Sometimes the versifying clear is hard to clean off. That's why I like this alt new cleaner. It gets it right up, as you can see right there. It's a great cleaner. Um, so that back. All right.
doing that. Do I have anything out front? I think I have something over here. I am going to use there's three in this set, but and it's in there for a class, but I am gonna use this die. And I might actually do it this way. Put that down. Do I have it on there straight? It would be just my luck <laughs> after all this work don't you ever feel like that you're like all this work and then the thing that you do last is what messes it up <laughs> has that ever happened to you all right yay here we go I was feeling feathers would be a great project for tonight. Um, feeling a little Bette Midler tune coming on. <laughs> I'm a silly woman. I I have the corniest jokes sometimes. All right. Let's do this. Let's finish this out here. Where'd that butterfly go? Okay. So, that little butterfly can pop up right there on that sentiment, right there along that edge. And I would say that would make me very happy. So... I'm going to bring that down here, get that kind of curved this way, or maybe I could just do, ooh, what about that? And bring in this up here, and I don't know. Hmm. I feel like it's harder. Sometimes placement is hard. Or how about if I just did something like that? Hmm. And then a sentiment across here. And that. Ooh, I kind of like that. I think. What do you guys think? If I do that, I feel like it needs, you know, you know how I go. You know how that rolls. I feel like it needs uh, some twine or something. A note to lift you up. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. Maybe. Do I have any twine? I do have some right here. Ooh, some black twine. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Just reaching for whatever I've got here. Do that. I 
grabbed way too much. <laughs> I don't need that much. what we did. Yay. Okay, only putting glue um, right here and right here where it's not going to show because vellum will show glue, glue through. Just a tip for those of you who are not fully aware of that. So I am going to place this right here. And I'm not going to glue it all the way down. I do want a little bit of lift, but I'm, I am going to place a little bit more glue. Whoops. Um, Got to be patient. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll just um, talk to you guys. <laughs> So, yeah, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to just get some glue here, and right here, here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit here on the... Just there. Just a little. To hold it down. That's all I need. Now I'm going to get a glue dot for my you go? twine. Set that there like it's tied together. turned out better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Never panic. <laughs> that's that's my motto with going live. Don't panic. I was ready to panic. <laughs> Do not panic. All right. I wonder. Do you know, I do feel like it should be here. Kind of like that. But then our butterfly won't have a place to go. So, huh. That's why I'm thinking down here more because I do want that long I feel like I, I want a long piece of twine there so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to put a little bit of dimension there on the end so who's voting for a little bit of bling with this Is it a necessity? <laughs> wow. Coming in further. There we go. Glue that down. Well, that's going to come off the card. But you know what, guys? I kind of like sometimes when we 
don't stick 100% to all of the, you're going to need a little bit of a bigger envelope for this kind of thing, but I, you know, sometimes we just get stuck in a rut with our cards and stick to the A2, and I kind of like going off the edges sometimes. I like to go off the edge. <laughs> I like living wild. <laughs> That's about as far as it goes, folks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing else exciting to, to share, but other than that. So I think, do I need to go? Uh, am I good? I think I'm good. I think that's, I think that's going to work. So I'm going to, I am going to put a little glue here. Since we're um, going to touch the tip of that. And. We'll just do this. And oops, we are peeking out with some. I'm going to take that off. Tuck that in. So you can just. Tuck that under, and you should be just fine. And there it is. And oh my goodness, I just had, the, had this great idea. I know exactly what bling I'm going to use. I have been dying to use this, and I have not had the right project for it. I hope this works, and I think it is. Oh, these Pink Fresh Stargazers are going to be perfect for this because I have a little bit of blue pickup in it and it's going to be so pretty. So, <laughs> Lindy's always voting for bling. <laughs> bling, bling, definitely. This is, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Uh, I'm excited. Look at that. Some girls want diamonds but you know some girls are just happy with their craft bling <laughs> so oh no you guys I had black on my <laughs> I have black on my bra how did I do that lord of mercy well we're gonna fix it aren't we we're gonna put some bling over it how did that oh it might have been that it wasn't dry yet Something's not dry. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, fix it. Somehow. We'll get that there. We'll get a little one over here. And... We'll do another small one there. And that'll, that'll kind of take away some of that. Uh, that's sad. My sentiment. Boo. <laughs> I think I can fix it too, though. Get it. Let's get something here. And I'm definitely going to put something on the... I'm going to put that right there for his little... And I think... A small one at the top of this card, and that is all the bling I'm going to do. And I think that works. Okay. So it fixes our problem here somewhat. Let go. Honestly, don't know what happened. Anybody see what happened? Hmm. 
Maybe some of my ink wasn't dry. I just smeared it. Could have been what happened. All right. I need to put these things in this thing in the store, but I oh, if it's not in here, I'll have to wait and do it after live. But I have this, yeah, it's right here. I have this mono eraser, and it can take care of some of these little smidgers. I definitely need to put these. Oh, see, there's something, there's something, something. I better take care of that before it goes everywhere. Definitely something. It's always got to be something. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to sand that down, get my sentiment at least somewhat presentable. Maybe it was, actually, maybe it was my sentiment. It wasn't dry yet or something. That could have been it. Get that there. Sanded down just a smidgen more. Yeah, we definitely need this in the store. These are awesome to fix your all of your little boo-boos. Well, that sure looks better. Whole lot better. All right. We have a little here. Much better. Yay. It's not so bad. Okay. There it is. Yay. I like it. I do like it. It's pretty. I wasn't sure at first. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wasn't sure. But I would definitely give this card to someone. Most definitely. All right. Let's get this back on and we are done and I could have probably used the sand eraser um, on my stripes where I had a little bit of, of mishap but I didn't really want the color I didn't want to be missing color because it will rub off the color so There it is. I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> I'm afraid of, of it happening again. All right. Woohoo! We're done. We are done. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I really certainly appreciate you stopping by and hanging in there with me. <laughs> Most definitely hanging in there with me. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, wherever you are, whether it's time for bed now or <laughs> um, or if you're eating, getting ready to go eat some dinner. Thanks for stopping by. Um, 
I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I also hope you have a great rest, rest of your week. We have um, nice weather this weekend, so enjoy. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.